Okay guys, welcome to Rafa's Garage. Today, doing a compression test on this car. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through it because I've already done it a couple of times. But I just want to see the see how healthy this motor is and I still have doubts about it. So yeah, um, if I have time, I am going to lower the car um, and maybe do a couple of things to it. Also need to wash it before the weekend. So, meaning tomorrow. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted, see how much compression is. So, there's the first piston. I'm at 180. I'm sorry I'm not recording, I'm here by myself. So this is number two. We're at like 160. Yeah, about like 160. So we're at 180 again. Um, actually, the last one was at 165. So, so far, so good. Hopefully, the other one's at 180 also. So, last one. Oh shit. So, a little bit over 80. So we're looking at like 190. So that was unexpected. Um, as you can see, I put everything back together. I put my C1 scrub bar, the spark plug cover, the engine cover, uh, did the compression test. Overall, it came out good. So, it was a little better that, you know, it's kind of a healthy motor. But, I'm still scared that small little piece of metal is still on there. So, I'm already done here. I'm actually going to do the oil change because it has the old used mo uh, engine oil from the previous owner. So, I'm not going to walk you through it because I already done a video of it. <laughs> Since I'm done with the oil change, now, since I'm the only one going to be driving this car, I'm going to slam it dirty, nasty, nasty load. So, I'm going to take off the wheel. I'm going to adjust the coilovers. I'm probably just going to do the fronts today, cause, and tomorrow I'll do the rears. So, took off the wheel already. The way you do this, um, this one is your locking one. So, remove that one. And then, I already did. Uh, so, you remove that one so it could move freely. And then, to go down, you're going to go use this collar and go compress it down. If you're going up, use this collar to go up. You don't want to compress the spring. Um, cause it's already set for the strut and that's how you do it. If you see both of them moving, um, use both spaniers and tighten them going the opposite ways 
and they should get tight, and after that, go whichever direction you want. Um, what I like to do um, before I start messing with these, I actually like putting some brake cleaner and breaking and cleaning all that dust and little rocks it has. Then after that, um, I like to spray some DW40. That way, it's nice and lube and easier while you rotate it to the bottom. So, we're going to go all the way down, almost hitting the axle. Um, see how low it goes. If not, I might go lower. So, this is what you want when you're actually lowering it. You want the whole body to be moving, not just the spring. I'm compressing the spring. This is what you want. As you go down and down, it'll get harder and harder. The reason being is because it's getting more threads. Um, already did the other side. Uh, maxing them out. These are BC Extreme Drops. Um, and I believe I'm running 10K Swiss Springs in the front. Let me see if I can show you guys. Yep. There it is. So there you go, guys. It's maxed out. Slammed to the floor. And... This is how much <laughs> fucking clearance I'm gonna have. Running. So, maxed out BCs on the front. Fucking low. That's it, man. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, suggestions. I'm out. Let me know if it looks good or not, or should I raise it more?